Turning Red is Pixar's newest film that was just released a few weeks ago. I myself absolutely loved it, and I actually reviewed it on my new channel, Gary the Editor. However, as soon as Funko announced the Funko Pops for it, I kinda lost my sh**. I needed these as soon as possible, but obviously they weren't available yet, so I just wanted to lock down the first retailer who would have it available. And of course, the first one to have it available was Hot Topic. I myself haven't been collecting Pops as much at all lately, so I just hope that Hot Topic was still good with keeping up with new releases. And for the most part, yeah, they are. But when it comes to May, it was almost impossible to get. It seems as though very few copies made it to Hot Topics, and on top of that, mine's only had three. But I managed to score on May right here. I love the pose they put her in, and the colors really make her pop. However, I do wish that they colored her mouth just a little bit more, because it looks a bit odd there, since the tongue is kind of sticking out of the place. But besides that, very cute pop. Really like it. But, as much as I like this pop, don't get me wrong, we want the panda. I'd say the panda one took about two weeks to come out after this one, and it started popping up in random places, such as, you know, European stores, UK stores, and very few Hot Topics here and there. It did go up for sale at HotTopic.com, but they incorrectly labeled it as a 10-inch pop, thus making it, like, almost $34, which is completely wrong. There is no 10-inch version of this pop available. It was up there for a couple days before it eventually got taken down, but then a day later, it was put back up at the right price. And that's where we are right now. So, without further ado, let's open it up. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, yep, they put it in the shipper, which is good. No packaging, though, that's a little concerning. Take that out. That's the receipt. Is it summertime already? To be honest, I haven't really ordered any six inches in a long time from Funko, so this is uh, kind of new. All right, here we go. Nice that it opens up like that. That's interesting. And there she is, the Red Panda May. The box is in very good shape, that's very good to hear. As you can see, there's only two pops in this line, which is just her in her human form and her in her panda form. But there's going to be a Funko Shop exclusive where her panda form is flocked. And it seems as though many people want that one, so... Yeah, that's going to be kind of tough to get. Alright, let's open it up and take a closer look. Oh yeah, this is cute. <laughs> I like that they gave her the same pose as the human form. I like the little subtle stripes of the white fur there to make it look like it's, you know, stripey. It's a little uh, off-center there at the end there. It's a little faded, but it's whatever. It nicely blends with the reddish-orange color they have going on here. I like the little tufts in the ears to give it that fluffy feel. The pose they gave her with the peace sign, they actually added little paw pads on her paws there, which is a nice touch. The tail is a bit of an odd color. It's a bit too orange here, as you can see. It should have stayed the same color as the rest of her fur, but it's still nice. I like that they gave it like a little swishing motion going to the right. And of course, to give a little bit more dynamic range to her pose, I like that one paw is shifted to the left, whereas one is standing straight up. Very cute pop, and I'm very happy to own it. And I just made a shocking discovery. Look at the price. What is going on here? Even it says 10 inch on the sticker. Funk, uh, Hot Topic, no, I, what is going on here? What? And there she is with the rest of the pops, and uh... Yeah, um, <laughs> let's just say a lot has changed since the last time I made a video. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely time for an update video. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.